Hi everyone and welcome to my Minecraft Feed the Beast Magic World Let's Play. So, we're back for another episode. In the last episode we had discovered the, or learned the portable hole, um, which looks pretty cool. So I do want to craft that. What I do need to get is a bunch of this alienness. And what has the alienness? The totems from Thomcraft. So, I'm going to have to go collect a bunch of those. Um, let's see, did I have any here? Here, I've got no obsidian. Obsidian tile, right? It's not this item, but it's the other part of it. So, what I'm going to do is actually, I am going to head over to our Miscraft age that we have called, I called it Extreme Hills. I am going to create a book. So, wherever I finish, I could just leave because otherwise to get back to wherever the original book that just be a big mess so let's just create a book I always have to remember to create one because I could get stuck there so and that would not be nice so I have an axe I've got pickaxes and what else do I need anything else um no I think we're good to go right I don't know why I'm carrying dirt with me okay so let's head over there real quick just want to show you um so let's head here where the village is this is extreme hills of the village because I have a few oh some leather there was some leather waiting for me there. Pretty cool. So, yeah, look at all these villagers. Pretty boring looking guys. Come on, guys. You in the corner. Get out of the corner, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. They are. I'm sorry, but villagers just need to be a little more, I don't know, interesting. Like, they should have, like, a disco room and dancing or, I don't know. They're just so boring. Okay, so anyway. Oh, look. There we go. A totem. Exactly what I'm looking for. So, because these are flat lands, um, the whole, you know, the whole... Um, Miscraft age I created flat um it'll be really easy to find these actually this is a tiny one but I'm going to show you we're going to grab a bunch of these what I need is 24 alienists for the portable hole so we're going to need I think we need 12 I think each one has two aspects so let's just check that out a sec let me just break this one and then we'll take a look and let's just check this out hold on oh I think I see another totem way back way up you see the left right there right where my right there straight ahead Another totem. You could see him far away, so pretty cool. So let's see. This is, yep, alienness two each. So we need 12. Cool. So I'm going to work on grabbing these. Also, I'd like to get some silverwood saplings, hopefully. So I'm going to cut a few. I did bring uh, an extra iron axe with me. I'm going to cut a few silverwood trees down. Let's see if I'm lucky enough to get a few saplings, hopefully. And so that's what I'll be working on for a little bit here. But I'll stop the video not to bore you guys. And I don't know if I should even grab these tiles. I don't know if it's necessary. Um, they don't have alienness. Um, they don't have the alienness aspect, or, but I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go, where was that tone of myself right there? See? Oh, wait, there's one here, too. Oh, you see, they're just all over, really easy to grab. And actually, I'm going to grab some spider whips. And I see we're going to need that for, there's something I was, there's something. Oh, yeah, for the fabric. Um, I'm going to show you that right now. I don't know how many spider webs I how many spider or the webs I have. So um, for this enchanted fabric, I'm going to need four. And I don't know how many I have back home. So I figured, well, since I'm here, I could always grab, you know, a bunch of these. So since a lot of these, there, there's another one, another um, great wood with a spider web. So I'm going to grab those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, grab the totems, grab some spider web, and uh, cut down a few silverwood trees. If I get some saplings, I'll show you. So I'll be back in a little bit as soon as I get something good. So we'll be back, Or as soon as I'm done. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I can never resist these Thomcraft dungeons, so I found one I haven't been in yet. So I figure, what the hey, let's, uh, let's see what we get in here. I always like to see what's in those chests, so let's check it out. I always should remember to bring my soul shards with me because I could really fill them up um, with these um, spawners. But I always forget to do that, so let's heat up a little bit here. And let's get down here. Oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of them coming at me. Wow, there's so many zombies over there. Just get rid of this guy's the most annoying, the, uh, the skeleton, just because he's shooting me from a distance. Let's take care of these guys. This is easy enough, come on. This is now I'm the expert at this now. <laughs> I'm not the expert really. I just, you know, after time I guess it gets a little easier. Plus, when you have good gear or whatever, you know, it's just a lot easier. So I'm actually just going to break this. Well, I could put a, oh, I only have one torch. Can you believe it? Let's put that one. So this one I'm going to break, actually. Whoa. Get away, buddy. All right. Just break this one. It doesn't matter. There's plenty of these around, so, oh. There's two skeletons down there. All right, let's get my sword ready, and let's just take care of these guys. Whoa. All right, 
And where's the other guy? Did I get both? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we got any good goodies here. Goodies, goodies. Oh, okay. We got a Miscraft uh, page. Mushroom Island Shore biome. I like that. I like the sound of that. I've never seen that. Let's see what we got here. We've got Enchanted Book Bane of Anthropods. Okay, no big deal. And some more string. Big deal. Nothing really fancy here. Nothing good. Empty map. Huh. Empty map. Is that from, um, can that be used? I don't even know what that's used for. Whoa. Nice. Cool. All right. All right, now I have a map. Very cool. I've never gotten one of those, actually. That's pretty cool. I thought the maps were in, um, you can get maps in Twilight Forest. I didn't realize, I mean, I know they're maps in Minecraft, but I just never saw them in one of these Thomcraft uh, dungeons. Never. This is like a first. All right, I think I see a silverwood tree over there, so nothing really fancy. I should have, I was hoping I'd get those, uh, what are they called, the fragments. I needed just one more to make another, um, what is it called, um, research. Uh, I want to say like a research page. I forgot the actual name of it. There we go. There's a, we got a silverwood tree over there. So I'm going to go ahead and chop that silverwood tree down and see, hopefully, let's see if I get a sapling or two. Well, or maybe three, huh? That would be a bonus. <laughs> All right, so let me go and uh, chop this down and hopefully get something from here. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hey there, I just want to show you. Look at that beautiful thing floating right there. I got a sapling. Yay. All right, well, at least I know I got one, so that's pretty good. So let me just, uh, let's see, how do I grab it? <laughs> come on, sapling, come to me. Whoa, do I not have space? Oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. Let's get rid of these. I don't need these. Cool. All right, I'm going to break this and head on down here. Oh, there's one more piece of this tree to get rid of. There we go. I think I got the whole tree now. So hopefully you never know. I might get another sapling from here. All right, I just want to show you that beautiful floaty sapling right there. That was awesome. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and probably cut, cut down at least uh, two more trees. Let's see if I could get, I'd like to get at least four saplings in total. Let's see if I'm lucky. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so, all right, sorry, I just, I stopped the video and look, another sapling, yay, I've been pretty lucky, two saplings from this tree is pretty good, so right now we have two, so let's see if I can, like I said, cut one or two more trees down and get two more, that's what I'm looking for, all right, I'll be back in a little bit, okay, hi everyone, I'm back, so I think I cleaned up pretty good here, I got 25 obsidian totems, I got extra ones because we're going to need them for, let's go back to our Thamanomicon, now someone said I should pronounce it Thamanomicon, I was saying Thamanomicon, and someone said Thamanomicon. Is that better? I hope, guys, that that's better because I'm not really sure about the pronunciation. But um, I'm going to need, look, I need 24 of Alienus, right, which I already have 12 totems, but I'm also going to need them for the Crystal Core. I was thinking, so I figured I might as well get some more totems because I'm going to need, see, I'm going to need eight totems for this. So we already have the Crystal Core. We already crafted it. But we need these eight totems. So now we should have enough with what I have here. I have 25, so we're good to go. So I don't have to come back here. And I got a total of four silverwood saplings. Nah, I wish I got six. I was hoping I was going to get six, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and head home. Let's just go ahead and grab our book. And I think we're good so we can head home. Cool. Oh, it's nighttime. So let's head off to sleep. And let's go ahead and craft this portable hole. And see, I'm actually going to clean up the stuff I got. So let's uh, actually put it away, what I mean. Not clean up, put it away. So we got some amber. I really, I don't remember. I think I used amber a couple times in the research table. But uh, I should try again. Um, and let's see what else we got here. Um, <laughs> let's uh, throw some more stuff in here. So this enchanted book. Some leather we got. Sh lots of strings, so that's good. And I think we're good to go here. And I just have to put my Mistcraft... Um, Let's see. Actually, I could grab this paper. And, yeah, I think we're good. And I want to put the Mistcraft page. Where did I put all the pages? Where I have all my pages? I have them over here in my notebook, right? That's where I place the pages, which I stopped using. I really need to get back to that. Um, um, I have these different notebooks. I have to figure out how I'm doing this. All right, so oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to place it like this. Cool. And then was it like this? How do I forgot how I organized. You know, I had problems organizing, but this got organized. But then I can never seem to get it. I think I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. I can never seem to get that organized. Something's wrong with <laughs> the way you do that. All right, let me concentrate on the portable hole now. So we need permutatio, I think it was. 
hope I'm saying that right, uh, permutatio, and I'm going to need uh, permutatio and vacuous. So vacuous will just use those um, um, glass vials. So let's go ahead and grab some more glass. I think I cooked up a whole bunch of glass here. Cool. And we'll grab some clay. Where's the clay? Here we go. So let's craft a bunch of those. Actually, I'm going to need to clean up what I have down in the Alembics. So I'm going to make actually a whole bunch of them. Let's make, wow, let's make a lot of these. Let's make a lot of these. I'm going to need these. So, uh, what was it like that? Yeah, got it. So we got one stack and 16. Cool. Alrighty, so we've got that. And I need permutatio. So I'll just grab a stack of eggs. Should be good now. I think we have everything we need. So let's head down there. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. I do need, um, okay, wait a second. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. I do need to make first the enchanted fabric which was with string. Oh, I have a lot of string. Good. And uh, I need um, I need wool. Yes, here we have some wool. Let's grab this light gray wool. And actually, I'm going to place this back. I'm going to put this glass away here and the clay so I make some more space here. And let's just place this map here. Let's grab this bucket. And so we've got wool, string. Oh, look, there was another string there. And um, last but not least, enchanted fabric. Did I get everything I needed? Let's see, we needed enchanted fabric, so that's good. And and I think we have everything. Oh, ender pearl. Last one. Last item. Sorry, ender pearl. Good. One of those. Now we're good to go. Now I'm ready for the portable hole. Sorry. Definitely ready now. I hope so. <laughs> hope I didn't forget something. All right. Oh, look at these alembics. See, I knew they were all full. So let's go ahead and grab stuff from here. These essences. There we go. And empty this one out. Cool. So we have three Alembics that are empty. Cool. So now what we want to first make are these um, enchanted fabrics. We don't need any aspects, right? Extra aspects like, so let's just make, we need four of them. So let's go ahead, four. And they have four pieces of wool, right? There we go. Got let's grab these four. All right. Took a little V's, but very little. All right, so we've got four of these. Now let's place our... I don't remember, was it like this? Let's see if I got this right. Yes. So we need 24 alienists, 16 permutatio, and 24 vacuous. No problemo. First, I need to fill this up. So let's go ahead and get our bucket. And let's fill that up. Alrighty. Fill up our crucible. Whoops. Not what I wanted to do. Whoops. And there we go. Let that boil up. And first thing we're going to throw in there is we're going to throw in um, permutation. We need 16, so it's four, 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 four. We've got four of those, four eggs. All right, we got four eggs. And now alienness, we need 24, so we need just 12 of these. 12 of these totems, whoops. Oh, yeah, we do have 12. Great, awesome. Let's throw that in. And last but not least, we need 24 vacuous, which are in these um, glass files. Each glass file has one. So we need 24. Let me just make sure of that before I make some mistake. 24, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't throw in extra. All right, 24 glass vials. Awesome. So we are ready to go. There it is, our portable hole. Yay. And let's see our Alembics. Whoa. Okay, this one's ready to be cleaned out. So let's grab this with that fire aspect. And now let's grab, oh, this also has that same aspect. And we've got here the glass aspect, which is called vitreous, right? I think so. Awesome. So we've got our portable hole. What can we do with this? I think we pretty much just make giant holes with it. So let's see. If I jump up here and I just want to go straight, I just go like that. Whoa. Whoa, it goes all the way through. Actually, no, that goes all the way through. Cool. Whoa. Thing is, you have to be careful. Can't you get stuck in there? Watch. Like, if I try to run through here and I don't get through, can I get stuck? I'm guessing I can. That would not be good. <laughs> totally see that happening. Whoa, night. Oh, wow. Look at that under my, under my farm. Oh, no. No. <gasps> no. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, my gosh. I think I should name this series What Not to Do because. Is this possible that this just happened to me? Where's my cart? Oh my god, this is 
horrendous. I <laughs> that shouldn't be like that. Oh my gosh, this is so horrendous. Oh, it doesn't have enough charge. Ah, where's my cart? My cart is in there. Is it still alive? Oh, please tell me my cart's in there. Oh gosh, I have to wait for this thing to charge. How do I know it's charging? Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. <laughs> How could that happen to me? Did you see that? So basically everything was okay until the cart got on this area and then it just all the pieces fell down. But I just thought, oh my gosh. Oh, I have to wait for this thing to charge. Where's my cart? I don't know if I should break through and see if it's there. Should I? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this has been the worst thing. Look at that. How could that happen to me? Oh, <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> Where's my cart? You think it's under there? I bet it's not even there. I bet it like disappeared. It got eaten up by all the dirt. How could that possibly happen? Oh, I don't like this portable hole thing. It just ruined my whole Steve's cart. And I was thinking, look how cool it's like floating my track up on top. It knows not to, you know, let it drop. And look, it fell. Oh, I'm so, I can't tell you how upset I am. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh, I don't want to die in there. Where's my cart? Where's my cart? I cannot believe this. Am I going to have to make another cart? You know, guys, I just, I can't even believe this just happened to me. Oh, so upset. <laughs> Did this ever happen to you? Only me. This only happens to me and while I'm recording. Oh, I don't even believe this, that this can happen. All right, so I used the portable hole thinking it was going to affect the items around it, and I am completely wrong. It does affect the items around it. So just so you know, guys, be very careful. I don't know if I should dig down there. I guess I should, right? Grab a shovel. See see if it's... But I, I don't think the cart is there. Oh, my gosh. Look how many cows. It's out of control. Crazy. I'm so upset right now. I can't even tell you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, I, did you see that? I was afraid to go into that hole that was like a long tunnel because I thought, oh, if I get stuck in there, I'm dead, right? Because I'll suffocate under this. I mean, I've suffocated under sand in Minecraft. It's happened to me. Sand fell on me and I couldn't get out, you know? But I never thought I would lose my cart. I really didn't think that could happen. Well, I just showed you guys what not to do in, uh, in, this, in, <laughs> in this game. Wow, that really stinks. Oh, well, what are you going to do? All right, I'm going to head up actually for now. I'm going to wait for this portable actually for this to charge up a little. And then I'm going to go back over there. But for now, I am going to, I have an axe right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut down this silverwood tree that I have up here that uh, has grown. So we're up to um, an ore of 350. Ooh, this is a big one to cut. Yeah, I got to chop this one down. I'm going to chop it down and then I'll be back, okay? And hopefully we get another sapling. That would be really awesome. And then what I'll do is I'll plant, what I've decided to do this time is plant a bunch of saplings. I always do it one by one, but this time, some people suggested I could take a few and just plant a few. And I'm going to this time just to see how it works out. Um, I just want to see, you know, how that works out with the aura, um, if it just goes up that amount. For instance, if I have four, I should have 80 aura, um, by you know, 80 aura more. But what I'm going to do is see how that, and I want to see if I do that, if it moves like a larger distance or not. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but I'm going to try it. Anyway, so let me cut this tree down and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I'm done cutting the tree and I slept through the night. So I'm just going to place now a few of these saplings down. Um, let's go ahead and place them. Let's see. Oh, I have five saplings. Did one drop? I thought I only had four. Wait a second, I'm confused. Maybe one dropped? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so let's place one like here, okay? see if I can move far enough away that it won't affect the tree growing. All right. Um, I think this might be too close, actually. Like this? Do you think this would be okay? I'm going to leave those like that. I'm going to leave the fifth one um, 
and not put the fifth one down. I hope that they grow. I'm not really sure. Let's see how that works out. Okay, I'm just going to leave them as is like that. Sort of in a little circle, but hopefully they'll move closer in this direction, I hope. The node, the node will move. Let's hope so. Okay, I'm going to head back to my where I lost my cart. <laughs> so embarrassed. I can't even tell you how upset I am. Even though you might not believe it, but I'm really, really upset and embarrassed that that happened to me <laughs> while I was recording. Oh, my gosh. But I, I promise you I did that not even thinking that that cart could fall and disappear. So let's see now. Ready? Still not enough charge on this? What's up with that? Huh. I've been waiting a while, so I don't know how long it takes to charge, actually. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to do that next episode because I have no idea. You know, this it doesn't show me any number, you know, so I don't really know how long it takes to charge that. Um, I really have no idea. I don't know how much of a charge it has. I don't know how much each, um, you know, each time I use it, how much it uses of it, uses up, but... I don't know. I'll just have to wait, I guess. I thought it'd be ready by now, but I guess not. So, yeah, we made our portable hole, something I'm not happy about. Um, there we go. I could fall in the water. Well, I could fall right here. Whoa. Oh, we got a spider. We got a spider. Right there he is. There he is. Rogue spider. All right. Cool, cool. Got to care. took care of him. So that's how the portable hole works, but I don't think I like it anymore. Yeah. I could just jump up there. There are my chests. Hopefully they won't fall and I won't lose my stuff. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I'm so upset. So, um, let's check this. Oh, yeah, I had all my steak cooked up here. I actually have to bring some more. This is a great way of using the, um, using the, uh, what does we call it? The infernal furnace. A great way. Definitely. And the, um, and the hungry chest. Whoa. I didn't mean to use it, and I shouldn't have it in my hand, the portable hole, when I'm not using it. All right, let's throw something else in the, um, let's throw something else in the, in the research table. Someone mentioned I should I should definitely um, I should research bees now um, for thomic bees but um, I haven't researched bees only because I thought they didn't have aspects. I don't see I'm, I'm holding shift here. I don't see any aspects here. Um, why don't I see any? Huh. Okay let's grab for instance a meadows drone. Let's grab three of them. Okay Oh, I do have aspects. You see? I see. I was always looking at it when it was in the apiarist backpack, and it wouldn't show me any aspects. So I thought, well, we can't research that if it doesn't. And someone says, of course, research a bee. It makes sense. But because I didn't see any aspects, but I guess you can't see the aspects when it's in that backpack, in the apiarist backpack. So my my fault, my mistake. So let's go ahead and even though these items I can get from other, these aspects I can get from other items, let's go ahead and try to research this. Oh got something yay I'm gonna throw another bee in there okay that didn't do anything one more bee okay what has that aspect yes spider eye okay that didn't help <laughs> that did not help uh, but I, let's see do I have spider eyes I should have a whole bunch didn't I kill a whole bunch where are my spider eyes did I use them for something right I must have used them at some point for researching because I only have two I'm going to have to make a, a spider spawner. I'm going to have to. Because I can't believe I only have two spider eyes. Bistiola. Oh, wait a minute. I think the web has this too. Yes. Awesome. The string is, I mean string, not web. Why do I keep saying spider web? String. String has this aspect. And I could get a lot of string. String is easy to get. In those great wood trees, no problem. And also in those miscraft houses, there's a ton of it. There we go. Awesome. Now what do I do? Bees and magic. Yay. Okay, so it must be permutatio, right? Magic. So let's throw in some of this silverwood log. I got a ton of this. Whoa, we got something. Oh, I was sure it was going to be magic, and it's lignum. Okay, interesting. Whoa, something else popped up. All right, that was easy. What's the last item? Um, oh, good, we can read. There's something about your world that makes you think trees and bees require more research. That doesn't help me too much. How about... More research, I'm thinking books. What do you guys think? Like I say, books have so many aspects. Someone told me to research books again. I should do that next time. Let's see. Let's try books. Let's see what we get here. Something good, something good. Always turn to books because it has so many aspects. Come on, please. No, nothing. Trees, what was it called? Bees and magic. It's not permutatio. I mean, well, it could be permutatio. 
I didn't try that yet. No permutatio. Is it possible? <laughs> Everything has permutatio. How about a steak? I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I don't think there's life force in this, right? Nah. And, wow, I have no idea. How about some metal? Why would metal be with bees and magic? I don't know what I'm doing. What does rotten flesh have? Death decay, since I don't appreciate rotten flesh. Oh, no. Um, gosh, I have no idea. What do we got here? What do we got here? Um, gosh, someone's calling me on Skype now. Right when I'm recording. People always call me when I'm recording. <laughs> it's hysterical. Oh, my gosh. All right, I got to figure this out. What else could it be? Well, I'm going to leave the video as is because I really have no idea right now what else could be in Bees and Magic. So we'll leave it like that. This has been a long episode. I messed up my whole Steve's cart. I'm going to have to build another Steve's cart. Luckily, I have a lot of resources, so I'm not worried about it. But I'm a little upset that I lost my cart. But remember, it's not what you should not do. So keep in mind what you shouldn't do when you play the Magic World. Let's play when you play Magic World. Um, okay, thanks so much for watching. If you know what else I need to research in the Bees, Magic and Bees, let me know. And one last thing I need to find, and I really have no idea what it could be. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, a little quiet episode, um, but we did use the portable home. Let's see if our trees, hopefully, our silverwood trees will grow. We're still in an aura of 350, so I'm hoping it will really grow and we can get that aura up and you know soon. And plus, I'm going to use that crystal core soon, right? I think we should play, place that right in the center on the roof of my house, and we'll see how that goes. And I don't know what to do with these cows. It's crazy. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and joining me, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.